Hey there, fellow explorers, we're diving into a world of ancient giants and lost islands. Get ready for a journey back in time to the warm shores of the Caribbean millions of years ago. Picture this, massive crocodile-like predators stalking their prey. These weren't your average crocs lurking in the water though, these were sebakids, and they ruled the land. Now you might be thinking, giant crocs in the Caribbean? Hold on a minute, and you'd be right to be surprised. Today the Caribbean conjures up images of crystal clear waters, colorful fish, and maybe a friendly sea turtle or two. You wouldn't expect to find the fossilized remains of massive, land-dwelling predators. But that's the beauty of paleontology. It constantly challenges what we think we know about the past. Recent discoveries have unearthed a treasure trove of sebakid fossils in the Caribbean, revealing a fascinating story of ancient life on these islands. These weren't your average crocodiles, these were powerful hunters, built for speed and agility on land. They were the apex predators of their time, and they have a lot to teach us about the incredible diversity of life that once thrived in this island paradise. So buckle up and get ready, we're about to uncover the secrets of the Sebakids, the ancient rulers of the Caribbean. Alright let's meet our stars of the show, the Sebacids. Picture a crocodile but bigger, badder, and built for speed on land. These ancient predators roamed the earth millions of years ago, and they were a force to be reckoned with. They were no ordinary crocodiles content to laze about in the water. These guys were the kings of the terrestrial domain. One look at their skulls and you know you're dealing with a serious predator. They had these powerful jaws lined with sharp serrated teeth, perfect for tearing through flesh. And forget about that smooth armored look of modern crocodiles. Sebakids had distinct bumpy skulls, almost like they were wearing helmets. But here's the real kicker. Their legs were positioned directly beneath their bodies. This is a big deal folks. This upright stance gave them a huge advantage in terms of speed and agility on land. Unlike their modern day cousins who are kind of sprawled out, Sebakids could move with surprising swiftness, chasing down their prey with ease. Imagine these powerful creatures up to 10 feet long, stalking through the undergrowth of prehistoric islands. They were the apex predators of their environment, feasting on whatever unfortunate creatures crossed their path. It's a stark contrast to the Caribbean we know today, and it's a testament to the power of fossil discoveries to rewrite our understanding of the past. Hold on to your hats, because the Caribbean has been yielding some incredible Sebacid secrets. Over the past few years, paleontologists have unearthed some amazing fossils in Cuba and Puerto Rico. Talk about a pirate's bounty for scientists. These discoveries started turning heads and challenging our understanding of Sebakid history. Then, in 2023, the Dominican Republic stepped into the spotlight with a discovery that rocked the paleontology world. A team uncovered a remarkably well-preserved Sebacid skull, the most complete ever found in the Caribbean. This wasn't just any old fossil, it was a game-changer. You see, this Dominican discovery pointed to a Sebacid species that lived much later than any others found in the region. It pushed back the timeline for Sebacid existence in the Caribbean by millions of years. It was like finding a smartphone buried with a T-Rex, it just didn't fit the established timeline. This find sent shockwaves through the scientific community. It meant that these incredible predators survived much longer in the Caribbean than anyone had ever imagined. It opened up a Pandora's box of questions about how they got there, what their lives were like, and how they were able to thrive for so long in this island environment. Now, these Caribbean Sebacid discoveries weren't just cool finds, they were game changers. They forced scientists to rethink what they thought they knew about these ancient predators and the history of the Caribbean itself. Remember that timeline of Sebacid existence? Well, it needed a serious rewrite. See, before these Caribbean discoveries, scientists believed that Sebacids had largely disappeared from most parts of the world by the time the dinosaurs went extinct. The Caribbean fossils, however, showed that these guys were still going strong millions of years later. Imagine the looks on the faces of those paleontologists. Not only did these discoveries extend the timeline for Sebakids, but they also shed light on the incredible resilience and adaptability of these animals. To survive for so long in the Caribbean, Sebakids must have been able to navigate the challenges of island life, such as limited resources and potential competition from other predators. Finding these fossils in the Caribbean, a place once considered outside the realm of Sebacid territory, 
highlighted the importance of ongoing exploration and the potential for new discoveries to rewrite our understanding of the past. It was a powerful reminder that the Earth holds countless secrets just waiting to be unearthed. So, how did these Sebekids end up ruling the Caribbean? It's a question that has puzzled scientists for years. Remember, these weren't aquatic creatures like modern crocodiles, they were landlubbers. They needed a way to get to these islands. Enter Garlandia, a hypothetical land bridge that may hold the key to solving this prehistoric mystery. Imagine a time when the Earth's continents looked very different from how they do today. Now picture a landmass connecting South America to the Greater Antilles, the string of islands that includes Cuba, Hispaniola, which is home to Haiti, and the Dominican Republic, and Puerto Rico. This, my friends, is Garlandia. Scientists believe that millions of years ago during the Eocene epoch this land bridge may have existed allowing animals to migrate between what is now South America and the islands of the Caribbean. It's a bit like a prehistoric superhighway for animals on the move and who might have taken advantage of this convenient travel route? You guessed it. Our Sebekid friends. They could have easily walked from the mainland to the islands, eventually establishing themselves as the top predators in their new Caribbean homes. While Garlandia remains a theory, the evidence supporting its existence is mounting, thanks in no small part to the discovery of those amazing Sebacid fossils. It's a reminder that the Earth's geography is constantly changing, and that these changes have a profound impact on the evolution and distribution of life on our planet. Now you might be wondering, if Sebekids survived for so long in the Caribbean, why did they disappear elsewhere? Well, that's where things get even more interesting. You see, islands can be like time capsules for evolution. Think of islands as isolated pockets of life separated from the hustle and bustle of the mainland. This isolation allows unique species to evolve and sometimes for ancient species to persist long after they've vanished elsewhere. It's like finding a pocket of dodos thriving on a remote island untouched by the outside world. The Caribbean, with its scattered islands and unique environments, has long been a hotspot for unusual and long-lasting species. It's a place where evolution can take some unexpected turns, and Sebacids weren't the only ones who found refuge on these islands. Fossil evidence suggests that other ancient animals, like giant rodents and sloths, also survived for extended periods in the Caribbean long after they had disappeared from the mainland. It's like a prehistoric party that never ended. So, while Sebacids may have faced extinction on the mainland due to competition or changing environments, they found a safe haven in the Caribbean, where they continued to thrive for millions of years. As we've uncovered the incredible story of Sebacids in the Caribbean, it's clear that these islands hold a treasure trove of secrets, just waiting to be discovered. Each fossil is a clue, each bone a piece of a puzzle that helps us paint a more complete picture of the past. Think about it, if we've only just begun to scratch the surface of the Caribbean's fossil record, imagine what other amazing creatures might be out there, buried beneath layers of rock and time. Could there be even larger Sebekids, perhaps with even more bizarre adaptations for island life? The possibilities are endless, and that's what makes paleontology so exciting. Every dig, every expedition has the potential to unearth something groundbreaking, something that could rewrite textbooks and change our understanding of life on Earth. The Caribbean, with its unique geological history and its history as a haven for ancient life, is a particularly promising place for these kinds of discoveries. It's like a giant prehistoric treasure chest, just waiting to be unlocked. So, there you have it, the tale of the Sebekids, the ancient crocodile-like predators that ruled the prehistoric Caribbean. It's a story of unexpected discoveries, scientific intrigue, and the power of fossils to transport us back in time. But this story is far from over. The Caribbean, with its warm waters and sun-kissed beaches, holds countless secrets beneath its surface, both above and below the waves. It's a call to adventure for all those who dare to explore the mysteries of our planet's past. Who knows what other amazing creatures await discovery in the fossil-rich soils of these islands? What other chapters in Earth's history are waiting to be unearthed? The adventure is out there, waiting for those brave enough to dig in and uncover the past. So, keep exploring, keep questioning, and never stop being amazed by the wonders of the natural world. You never know what you might find. And always remember, the past is never truly gone. It's waiting to be rediscovered.